everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have another fun project using my Rosy Studio paper and we're going to be doing six by six paper project today. And these are these adorable little shaker pockets. They are perfect for Valentine treats. Um, I had made these little hidden clips. You guys remember this tutorial for any newbie. I can link it. But these are just little cute hidden clips and these would go perfect inside of there. Um, sequins, just whatever you have. This was actually inspired by a Scrap Diva 29 die that she just had and I saw someone make a little project on there and I thought they were so sweet so I wanted to kind of make my own and this is how I made them. So each back pocket I've kind of done different. Um, she had this fun like swirly thing on hers, well not swirly but like a wave. So I just did mine three different ways so you can see but the wavy thing I had used a die like this to give it just a little interesting cut in the back. Um, I'm not crazy about how I cut that one, but uh, on her die, there was a cute like wave. So those, these are just some fun ideas, but aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh, goodness, I'm obsessed with this little kitty cat. All right, so I'm going to try to do this very, very simple um, because, you know, I love simple. So grab a six by six paper. All right, and we're not going to do too much scoring, okay? So I'm going to make this really easy. And this is the size is six by six, so it's a strange measurement when I'm doing this. So I'm going to show just an easier way. But okay, actually, let me scratch that out. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and just score it at a quarter an inch, okay? Quarter inch on the side. All right, so you're gonna just have a quarter inch cord. Let's just fold that and go ahead and just match that up right here. Because it's not an even score, so that's why I'm doing it this way. For those who it's, you know, if you don't have a scoreboard that shows all your measurements, it can be a little tricky. So once you have that, that's gonna be our little body, okay? And now we're going to go ahead and just make the lid. So flip your paper and, or turn your paper, sorry. And we're gonna score it at a quarter inch again and three and a half inches. So this is gonna be our lid portion. So here's a quarter is the bottom and the three and a half inch is gonna be the lid. Now this is actually optional. If you want yours higher, lower, whatever, that's your opportunity. But this I'm gonna do myself at three and a half inches. All right. So we're only going to need obviously one lid. So we've got to knock that off. So we don't, we're not going to need this tab. So let's go ahead and cut all of this out. I kind of did mine backwards. If your line's on the other way, that's okay too. I'm a lefty and you know, sometimes I do things backwards. Sometimes it ends up on one side. Sometimes it ends up on the other side. All right. So we've got a lid there, right? And now we're just going to need one little like tab on the bottom so let's go ahead and cut this one out with the little extra square so we're just kind of cutting everything out on that side experienced crafters kind of know the drill with this but for a newbie that's just the quickest way to do it and now we're just going to glue this on so go ahead and fold that and we're going to fold it in and then we're going to fold that up You know, it's amazing because they said it was going to rain today and we got, we're getting sun. I was like, okay, I better film before the rain does come. And I wanted you guys to have a fun weekend tutorial too. All right, glue. Hold on, give me a second. I just used it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, so go ahead and fold that down. And then you can fold this up. You could do little, if you want, you can like corner it or just leave it and fold it up. It's up to you. And now it's just kind of your decision what you wanna do with your top pocket. Do you want to, you know, run it through your dye machine and make a little like interesting pocket? Do you just want a corner around it? You can do the thing like I did, or you could even, you know, just there's different ways you can do your pockets. So 
Um, for me, I guess I'll just corner around it because that's what I seem to do a lot, right? And this is a longer lid. So if you want to even make a little cutout back here, you can like a shaker. If you want to be really extra, be my guest. So we have that and we're just going to do our simple little cover right now, which is very easy. So it's just going to be a two and a half by three inch paper. And that's going to go on here. So if you don't want to do the shaker, be my guest, don't have to do it. But if you want to do it, um, again, I'm going to show you the simple way. And these punches, by the way, are super old, you guys. I got this from Martha Stewart, like one of her first punches. And I've just had them because I think I get quite a few questions about where do I get these. So, you know, we're going to do that. And you're going to grab some acetate and glue this or not glue it. Take some double-sided tape and glue it down. And I've already done that, so you guys don't have to watch me. So I've already put that here. And I wanna show you how I tape mine because I feel like this is important for a newbie. So what I do is I, oh my goodness, lighting in here. Let me just notch this up a little bit. So I do the edges, okay? Because that's always important. And then I just add two little pieces of tape here so that my sequins don't move. You don't want your, because if your sequins fall, you're not going to see it. So it's just a way, good, good little trick to keep your sequins in one place or your, you know, glitter. And I'm going to just, I usually just wing it like this. So mine's going to be over here. I'm just going to kind of put some right here. Because I feel like that's where my heart is. And... I'm gonna just lay it down on there. Hopefully straight. <laughs> and there you go. And then it's gonna like stay in place for you, okay? And then we can decorate and I have a whole slew, so I'm using the other dies in this collection which are just so cute um the hard part is honestly going to be picking out the die because there's so many cute ones in here hmm I am again I'm always wondering what you guys think I love this I wish this one was a little smaller and I could put it in the front the pinwheel's cute I'm thinking either the flower or the um this one you know what I'm gonna do this one and I'm just gonna actually I kind of like the butterfly too but I want to add a few stickers on here so I want to leave a little bit of room so I'm gonna do the flower for now and I'm just adding regular glue on here I have sequins falling out because I didn't put that down And you can add more dyes if you want to, but I'm just gonna put this out of the way for now and add some of my stickers over here. You could add some lettering. Actually, I'm gonna take a different color because I'm using too much pink here. The options are endless in this kit, you guys, too. So I want, I didn't mention this when I was showing this. So the kit, there's like this kit collection that I had showed the other day. Um, it's about $54, okay? And then if you use my uh, coupon code, it's 10% off, right? So it's obviously in New Zealand, so the shipping is a little bit more. But with my discount code, it's actually the same as it would be like in the States about and the amount that you get, and I'm telling you, the amount of dyes in this pack are just like double, triple of what we get in the States. So I really highly recommend it. may take a little longer to get, but I promise you guys will not be disappointed if you get this kit. So, okay. Because I know that it sometimes um, international can scare people off to order, but don't. I think it's just really worth it. 
and I'm sure and I never lead you guys in the wrong direction with that kind of stuff so okay here we go so that's just another little pocket so this is really just a simple simple project and it's so cute you could add two hearts or one or circles it doesn't have to be hearts but that's just happened to be what I had and I wanted to um do something kind of valentine-ish to give you guys some ideas okay guys I hope you have a great weekend and thank you so much for joining me